timestamp Monday, October the 2nd. So we've cleaned out the cobwebs from that section up there on the barge board and administered some gap filler foam, which I'll wait to dry and then trim off. And that will stop the creepy crawlies from hiding in there and pooping all over the laundry window, which I've just cleaned out. The 17 year old cat continues to carry on. She's still grumpy. Don't you? Yep, she'll fang you at an instant's notice and without warning. She rubs around and acts all cute, but if you touch her belly, you're a dead man. Undercoat on both sides of the next lot of railing uprights. Okay, date stamp. It's uh, Tuesday, quarter past ten in the morning, 3rd of April. We're ready to go on with some more of these little uprights here. Got them painted, ready to go, cut. Let's get into it. It's now 10.44, so uh, half an hour and I'll finish that section off. Now this is a rather significant little point because I've reached the back of the house. So, from way down the front there, slowly but surely, I have got to this point, which is the back of the house. It doesn't sound like much, but it's a significant psychological step for me. So that means there's only this section and that one there. So three sections to go to the actual back. <sighs> That's five metres, that back decking area. There. So anyway, that's what we're up to. As the rain starts to tinkle out of nowhere. It's uh, Wednesday now, uh, Wednesday morning, sun's out. I'm continuing to fill gaps in here along the barge board to keep the creepies out and touching up the boards as I go. Yeah, this has all got to be fixed up. And repainted out here, all part of getting the, the roof on here, getting this all covered up out the back here which is going to be a big major job but we'll get to it, we'll get all the other little bits and pieces out of the way first. More palings painted, ready to go in the gap over on the, over there, in that hole there. Righto, date stamp, Friday 6th of October and uh, it's about half past ten in the morning, I'm just having a cup of tea and uh, we're up to this stage more of those little uprights for the decking railing to go in painted the bottoms to keep the moisture out and over on the wall uh, more, more sanding and puttying and carrying on going on to get that on the way lunchtime and those 10 upright pieces are in. I just did a calculation before and when I'm finished right down to the end there it will total 192 of those things down this side alone of the house. Well, it's Sunday morning time to wrap up this week's uh, little review. Uh, yesterday there was a couple of branches sticking off this uh, gum tree that I decided to tackle. Uh, one which you can see the remnants of laying on the ground there. Uh, that ended up on top of a train shed, so we dealt with that. And the other one come over this way, and foliage just hit the main shed, nothing serious. So I 
I've cleaned up all the foliage and ready to cut all that up into next year's foliage as you can see on the back of the ute ready to go to the dump today what we've got left to tackle on this thing uh, they're all branches that are going to fall the other way as I cut them off and go down into relatively easy territory 